Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and this is Ranger Rob Country Living. Today's a lazy day, kinda. We're uh, going out to check on the chickens and uh, we're getting close to colder weather. So it'll be interesting to see if any of my tomatoes here actually uh, ripen. Be kind of neat. So pretty much our routine lately has been <laughs> garbage dumps, <laughs> checking uh, our mouse traps, feeding the chickens, and then starting to scratch our heads a little bit about how we want our greenhouse to look. And uh, we're getting closer to starting uh, starting to think about what we're going to build. Um, see where you turn around the water? Yep. Right. Mouse traps. Mouse traps. <laughs> where are the mouse traps? Um, I don't know. Let's go check. Well, we checked our mouse traps and they were empty. We don't get mice every day, but uh, I'll probably have to move them around a little bit and try some new areas. So we can go out to uh, the chicken pans, go check on the chickens, and uh, see if they need water and food. Well, it won't be too long. These chickens are going to be laying some eggs. They're all hanging out down below. One, two, three, four, five. It's a chicken party. It's getting time to clean that out, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's uh, time to clean the chicken pen out again. Yeah. So it's actually a pretty nice day out today. It was kind of dark and windy yesterday, but today the sun's out. Uh, since I got camera duty here, sure he's gathering our food. Which we keep in the can right here, and we got to fill the water again. We also keep water in our uh, automatic feeder here, but they are still learning how to use it. They haven't mastered it yet.
now we get our chicken chores done. One of the things that we've been kind of hemming and hawing about is in this section right here is where we want to put our uh, greenhouse. So we're kind of thinking about the size and everything. One of the first thoughts is doing our greenhouse the same length of the chicken coop and the house next to this. And we're thinking about doing a 14 foot wide greenhouse so we can have shelves on the side and a planter box in the center. And, uh, you know, of course those plans could change as we go, but uh, sometimes it's just good to just come out and analyze what we're going to do. Then we're looking at the new garden and kind of starting to plot out what we're going to do for the new garden. I really think that we're going to do about one third of this of corn. And uh, the rest of the area is a lot of space for us. It'll give us lots of other vegetables and we don't want to get too over uh, done with the uh, vegetables next year because we're still kind of new to food preserving. And uh, so yeah, it's always good to just come out, look at your property, look at your plans, go in the house and actually draw up not only your plans for your house, but also what you want to do for your garden next year. And it's a good time to do uh, our inventory on what seeds we have and what we don't have. So uh, yeah, um, it's a great day to uh, do some planning for the spring. Okay guys, we're going to wrap the day up. We had a few things we were checking, got the chicken coop cleaned out, made some plans for our, our garden and also our uh, greenhouse. We have to go to town, take care of some errands today. Didn't catch any mice. And uh, I think the next thing we're going to start doing is working on the plans of the garden and also our greenhouse. And we'll share that with you. But uh, I think that, that kind of wraps up our day. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that like button. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.